you know, list off the important relation that we had. Sorry about this. So not only do we take these these variables, but we start off with 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 the relation that we have y1, a1, y2, a2, all the way up to yk, ak equals bk, yk, bk minus one, so on and so forth, down to b1, y1. So that shows how that is the that is the only relation that we take going into this. Should we be thinking of these variables as being matrices or as being elements in some multiplicative group? What's your what's your model for these non-commuting variables? Yeah. So so, so, so I, I guess that this would be this might be a good time to kind of transition over to like the the, the use of the computer here. And so one big thing that you know so, so how how do I use the computer? <coughs> Uh, to do this, and the computer is very, very important in conjecturing things, and and, and usually I'm going to be using so so you know I, I want you know want stuff that act like you know integers, but don't compute for multiplication, and so I go for matrices with a term of one. Uh, so, so 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 that's usually the way I go to when I'm trying to conjecture. So so so, so that that is the I would say that that's the way that I tend to. Uh, think about things. Two by two matrices or two. any particular? Yeah, two. I've I've always just stuck with with kind of for tying it down. Yeah, zero times that for completely non-commutative. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 so, so, so the what I just use two by two matrices, and, but that's solely for conjecturing uh, purposes. I I don't so, so I check 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 it out, and it's like that's not you know I don't claim to prove anything with that. So. I haven't found a need to go by th to three by three, but perhaps you know there could be some reason. Um, now you mention it that you know I have one thing I've been stuck on trying to prove. Maybe going through three by three would show that it's it's false or stuff like that. Some of this early stuff was just for skew fields. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, in fact, that's that is that's where. The, that's how the concept of conjecture is usually stated, but this is this is the way that's more applicable to to the talk. But yeah, great point. You could also work inside some large finite simple group or something. It's a mm -hmm. different model. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to think th think how how that would be computationally. You know, no, but the next one is the complete non-commutative group. The free group, non-commutative. Like a group algebra. So, so anyways, we we use. Uh, let me fin finish off with with uh, this definition right here. So e n y n e n minus one y n minus one b n y n b n minus one. So here n is bigger than m. And so I can use this to rewrite this as y sub n plus k, y n equals h n, y sub n plus 1 minus n plus k minus 1. So that's a nice, nice succinct way to write things. But another thing that, that is kind of important here is that for, for our purposes, when we actually try to, you know, do, use the same approach over here, you know, calculate out kind of like what is y sub 2k in terms of the preceding ones, it turns out that quite often we, we not only like to have, have the y sub n plus k times y sub n, we like to have them in the other order. You know, so this is, this is the non-commutative case, so, 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 you know, order doesn't matter here, so we like to have y sub n times y sub n plus k. And as it turns out, uh, there is, that does happen uh, fairly easily. Um, so, 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 so for all n, we have y sub n, y sub n plus k equals hn y n plus k, n plus k minus 1 times n plus 1 plus sine. 
And we also have yn, yn plus 1, yn plus k minus 1 equals give them some names here. So this triangle relation kind of is this, just keep on increasing, you know, increase the um, index of each one of the variables uh, in, the same, or in the same order. If, uh, the triangle relation says that that's always true. And then the star relation, as you can see here, the star relation is we just, you know, flip the order of yn and yn plus k, keep the same uh, keep the same um, polynomial, and then we just flip the order that the variables are put in. Instead of going from one, n plus 1 to n plus k minus 1, we go in the opposite order, and then in a, along with flipping all the a's and b's. So and in terms of time, I won't prove this. There's a rather nice simultaneous induction. Um, let me just, it's, it's a nice little. So the triangle for n implies star for n. And then basically use triangle for n and star for n to prove triangle for n plus 1. So it's a rather nice, nice little induction proof, but in the interest of time, I will skip that. So this is a general thing. It's not very dark that thing. I'm sorry? This is already your stuff. Um, I think, yeah. no, 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 no the, uh, this, this whole, other? yeah, this whole, I mean, I might be doing it for more general polynomial and stuff like that, but, but a lot of these techniques are already, yeah. all, all, already in, the, in the literature, yeah. Okay, um, let's see, I, I guess I, I, I'd already briefly discussed the role of the computer, so about conjecturing. Um, this might be a good time to just kind of discuss other roles of the computer, you know, how, how they come up, how, how is it used. So, so, so I can use it actually in kind of guiding the proof. And so the first way is kind of computationally that I can, if I'm trying to, you know, if, if I have some long expression, I'm trying to simplify, you know, again, like, like I'm using two by two matrices. Uh, and I'm trying to show that that this always that that some expression has has integer entries. I might have something. So so, so this is from a slightly different problem, uh, but it will kind of guide. It will kind of show what I'm talking about. So let's say that I'm trying to show like x x of seven. And if I find the x four inverse plus x five x six x four inverse plus x five x six x five x six x4 inverse, and here I, I kind of have that, and I know that x4 inverse is like x1 minus x3, x2, x4 inverse minus x3, x2, x3, x, x2, x4 inverse. And so something I might be doing with a computer, so, so it's like all of these all of these are going, you know, all, all of these variables that you see are going to be two by two matrices, you know, hopefully with integer coefficient or in, integer entries. And I can just like look at each one of each term in here individually and ask myself, does this have does this have uh, integer entries? Um, and so for and and so like this one, you know, might not, and so I'm going to look for look for other terms to cancel it out. But if I look at this term, I'm like, oh, this one always has integer entries. I can kind of simplify it by itself without looking for stuff to cancel out with. And, and then kind of like when I plug in, you know, substituting, okay, let me try x4 equals this expression, see if that helps or anything. That can really kind of guide, guide the proof attempt. And then finally, uh, we can use the computer to kind of help us out doing algebraic man manipulations. So, uh, you know, it, we just build like a data structure that stores, you know, variables in a row, um, to, and, and then we can just, you know, program in rules that say, hey, you know, we see these variables in a row, flip them around and stuff like that. Um, and so it's, it's, you know, just a homemade way of, of, of doing that. And I think actually I was, I was borrowing some code from Dr. Z uh, to do that. Okay, uh, so so I guess that was kind of a digression. Um, 
So, so let's see. I haven't gone over here yet, so this might be a good thing. So, I guess to, in the reading time, let me just kind of sketch out kind of like the proof technique. So our goal is that we want to write y sub 2k in a way that only uses the, the a's, uh, the b's, and then y not through y sub 2k minus 1. And so, again, same, same thing as before. Uh, why, you know, so, 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 so some of these would naturally have the inverses in them, but we just write everything. Without these inverses, we'll be guaranteed to know by induction that the Roth phenomenon will hold. And so, what, what is this looking like? We end up with y sub k times y sub 2k. So I'm using, I am using, let's see, this definition right here is going to be hk times y sub 2k minus 1, k plus 1, plus sign. So if I rearrange this, y sub 2k is going to be this. And the goal, quite clearly, Here's the one that's, this is the thing that's annoying us, but we want to cancel this out in some way. And so here is where we kind of start using, you know, why did I write, why did I write up all these definitions and stuff like that here for polynomials? Well, here's where we, where this is going to be important uh, to kind of keep track of things. Um, uh, because we're just going to start looking at like the last term by itself. We end up with with this whole thing will equal yk uh, inverse times basically the ev everything except for the, the, uh, the, the leading order term, highest power term. And then plus yk in the first times just the uh, times the highest order term here. So that's y sub 2k minus 1, k plus 1, plus sine, raised to d sub k. And so, we, and so we end up doing a lot of manipulations here. And I'm, I'm skipping probably about four pages of algebra that's in the paper. That's rather dry and technical. Um, you know, you, you thank me later for, 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 for sparing you the gory details. Uh, but, but we end up with this term in here ends up equaling uh, y not times y sub 2k minus 1, a plus 1, plus sign raised to the dk minus, uh, so, so once again, this, this does get kind of messy. And there's lots of work where we're just, we're just trying to, we're just manipulating like this expression in various ways and just trying to do everything we can just to pull a y sub k and then pull it out to the front where it can cancel it out. And so we're able to do that. Um, in one term where we have y sub k inverse times y k times something that we don't really, you know, something that, that works for us. And then the other term that we have left over, m equals 1 to d naught, p 0 m, y 2 k minus 1, k plus 1, plus sine to the dk minus m. And at this point, uh, you might be wondering, what, you know, why is it that we chose to break up our original expression like this? Is kind of the, um, the 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 highest degree term, and then everything else. It turns out that there is a wonderful cancellation that happens here. When I so, so I end up with y sub two k is going to be that y k inverse times. 
times that sum. Well, so I, I, I won't actually write the sum, but it's, it's that sum plus this term plus this term plus this term. This is fine, this is fine, those two are the only ones with the y's inverse left in them. But when we take a look at this one, we end up seeing that, that we have the sum from m equals 1 to d naught of p0m of y sub 2k minus 1, k plus 1, plus sign to the dk minus m. So, <coughs> Because this is, so, so, so this slot corresponds to, to, to the power here, because palindromic, we can replace m with, with uh, d naught minus m of the y stuff raised to the dk is the same as, uh, so, so, so to the dk minus m. And then a little change of variables that i equals d naught minus m shows us that we now have the sum from i equals 0 to d naught minus 1 of p0 comma i y 2k plus 1 and minus 1 plus sign raised to the i power. And this turns out to be exactly the same as that sum. That one's plus sign, that one's minus sign, so they cancel out wonderfully. And, and life is wonderful. Uh, so I'm right about at the end of my time, so let me just say further work. There is there's some other recurrences I, that I think could be generalized um, in similar ways that are, that's been shown kind of like for, for, for simple polynomials, but I think they could be extended to monic pal mon palindromic polynomials as well. And then you could also, the other thing that wasn't addressed in this work is taking a look at positivity sort of thing. So quite often positivity questions, which is basically, you're not trying just trying to show that it's that it's uh, the wrong polynomials, but you also want to show that the coefficients are positive. That stuff arises well. I haven't been able to take a look at that yet. So, thank you all very much. Now, a quick comment. Yes. It's really beautiful, but the paper is very hard for human to read and uh, to follow, but it's still humanly checkable. Yes. Visible. Yes. Yeah, but the definition is to streamline and have uh, let the computer be able to check it. Okay. Uh, because it is a little bit hard mm -hmm. for free. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful, but okay. it's too complicated for an application. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. And then, uh, okay. Okay. Could, could you do a swoop down from the mountains, grab something that's cool, like look at this one, the integrality of this sequence that's implied by your stuff? Not, the, the tricky thing here is because these are all non-commutative recurrences. Right. And so, and so kind of like, that, you know, the power is kind of built on non-commutative. And, and so any coming down, looking at this sequence, you're, you're probably looking for an integer sequence what would be the best example. And you, and you really do lose a lot, kind of, uh, when, when dropping down, I think. Could you get some of four? I don't know, and I, I, my, my guess is will be probably not under here. I think I think this is with k equals four. Yeah, I I don't know. My, my honest guess, guess is prob probably not. Just just the way that like we have to feed all those variables in as a product sort of thing. I think will sink us for that. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, to get something done. Yeah, de definitely. Yeah. Thanks again. Looking at the 